Many people like the concept of truth or dare. And truth or dare says you're either going to tell the truth or you're going to provide someone a dare. And that's a sort of a game to get to know each other. But the, at the same time, it allows you to be a little frisky, a little bit promiscuous sometimes, and a little bit ridi uh, ridiculously pathetic. In truth, I much prefer the interview process. And when I'm working with someone who's trying to build their business, I'm usually asking them at the get-go 40 questions. The first session is basically two hours of me almost interrogating you. But what I'm really doing is interviewing you. And what I'm doing is I'm listening to your language. I'm listening to the way that it is, the way that you talk about things, the way that you express, the way that you do about your business. Now, I know it's hard for me to say that to you because I don't want to give away all my proprietary information of how I do what I do to bring about marvelous taglines for you and how do I help you plan your sales process and how I help you qualify customers and how I help you target them and find them. But that's what I do. But to do that, I have to ask you a hell of a lot of questions. And I made myself a standardized form with most businesses that I could go through to do that. And I got a lot from that. And that way we could move to the next module, which is something else. Now, in time, I streamlined my program. And I did things more and more, but I always was learning from someone. Whether it was um, Dan Kennedy, whether it was Bill Kasky, or whether it was uh, Eve Evan Pagan, it didn't really matter. What mattered was what I gained from them. And what was great about those guys is they could say, you buy my work, you come to my seminar, you can, of course, utilize this and streamline it for you. And that's a great way to handle it. But in life, we have to figure out, how do I keep my seminars being constantly booked? There's great people out there who really know how to speak, but they don't always know how to handle the impromptu interview. My biggest proponent in that concept is don't do impromptu interviews. In other words, don't take the risk of ruining your brand because some stupid interviewer wants to ask you an asinine question that has nothing to do with your business and the business that you're trying to promote. You see, it's easy to cover different topics if you write the questions and hand them and say, this is what I get interviewed for today. And then the next time you get the request for an interview, you say, great, here's some questions. This is what I get interviewed about. And then you have the answers all prepared and ready in front of you so that you can be that thoughtful person who's prepared. And people aren't going to mind that about you because what they're seeing is you're not sitting there making all these verbal pauses, um, like, etc. And you're actually sounding really intelligent. Now, some people can answer things really, really well, but some people go way beyond what they should be answering. And many people totally miss the question because they weren't really listening and they don't know how to redirect the question into something they really want to talk about. And that's the problem with people who are not good with impromptu things. Now, what I'm talking about, of course, is the marketing of you. And the marketing of you is something I used to do a lot of in my Marketing Minute series. And the goal was to help people really think about how they're marketing themselves. In the spirit of your company, which is a program that I run with people for a good 12 hours, usually over six weeks, because people have homework to do, it's really the best way to handle it. Although I have done it quickly in a weekend, but it's not really good for the person. Because the relationship hasn't evolved tight enough, deep enough, and strong enough for them to feel really good about what they're taking and walking away with. But what they're paying for is my time. They're not paying for what we get out of it in terms of the content that's produced, although they do get that. But what they're really paying for is the investment of my time and being on my master schedule. And my master schedule has to be fully controlled because in my old way of working, I had clients with me annually. So they were always on the same space and time across the week. And they got bonus sessions based on the month. Now, I'm not going to give away all my secrets, but those people who are willing to listen to me will start to get me and start to understand what to do. It's sort of in a way a free way to look at your business, but it's also in a way for you to say, hey, maybe you and I need to talk about what you do because maybe that you can help me and I can help you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth that even someone who's famous can get help from someone who's infamous. I can remember meeting Maureen Muldoon at a yoga event. I went there to do my psychic readings, and I had a handful, but they really didn't have a lot of constituents. They really didn't have a lot of people that came out to the middle of nowhere, literally in Indiana, to go to that event, other than fellow yoga people. And I'm not a yoga person, but I still bought a tent. I still paid for the booth. I still paid double for hotels because my girl didn't show, despite my invitation for her and her boys to come. And the reality is that's on me, but God said, do it. Pay for it. Take a photograph of the, of the tickets and the keys and all that to prove your faith in me. And I did that. And I've done that many times where I've been led to different places. But over the course of time, as my submission increased, I was really led to some amazing places with God. And one of my projects is to do that. Where would God lead you if you let God lead you today? And it's sort of a travel show where people get a chance to be led to some magic that they've been wanting but nobody knows about. Or that God wants them to get and they get a valuable lesson from it.